Hey guys, so I tried to make this video as I am an Asian straight male. I have a wonderful, wonderful girlfriend. And the reason that we are not currently married is due to tax reasons. Um, if you both make a certain income, it actually doesn't make sense to be married if you don't have kids or there's other stuff, but not gonna get into that. I'm gonna talk about my experiences of an my experiences as an ally in the gay lesbian community and how different it is than in magic. So you guys can read these and I definitely want you to read them. I'm not going to read them to you, but I went to NYU. I went to high school in a suburb called Exton in Pennsylvania extremely Republican, extremely white. I was one of four Asians out of 550 people who graduated in my class. I was treated, I think, because I was Asian, you had Jackie Chang was really big when I was there. So people would make uh, racist Asian jokes, uh, most of them involving Jackie Chang. And actually, uh, oh, Jackie Chang Adventures was the big, uh, the a show at the time when I was growing up. So yeah, I know how it is to be treated differently based on your race. And I know that it is something that I would not, I don't think it's fair. But having said that, I went to a really awesome college. I went to NYU in New York City. And before you guys criticize me and tell me I didn't go, I, I went you can check my LinkedIn. I taught 14 chemistry classes. I did 14 orientation groups. I had a blast. It was a really great experience for me to grow. That aside, NYU is very gay friendly and very lesbian friendly and very, you know, whatever your gender is, whatever you identify as, people are nice. People are nice. And I did orientation with freshmen. Freshmen are kind of awkward. And, you know, they're just, we did orientation in the summertime. And especially I did uh, freshman chemistry classes so I could see people being awkward. But no one made, you know, most of my friends in my study group, uh, one of them was a lesbian, uh, Kristen. One of them was uh, gay. And well, actually two of them were gay and no one cared. Like it didn't even like cross my mind that I should treat someone differently because they were gay or lesbian or trans. Uh, one of my lesbian friends, he works in Kickstarter now. And, you know, one of the reasons I got into tech was I asked her how it was and she had a good time at Kickstarter and she suggested I get into tech as well. Uh, my best friend in pre-med, he was gay and now he's a fantastic doctor. Uh, actually, um, lots and lots of my friends, now that I'm thinking about it, were gay or lesbian because of the school I went to. I was in incredibly friendly. And I remember a summer at orientation and there was, there was always this uh, gay pride parade. If I went to it, if you were a white straight male, you went to it if you were part of our orientation group because it was fun. It was fun to uh, go see it. It was fun to be part of it. And it was fun to just enjoy it. Um, I don't know why people are pushing other people away. Like the Manalik, for instance, um, he's one of, and I'll talk about him in a totally separate video because I have a very big gripe about people who make fun of other people for losing their jobs. Now he justifies this by saying that Jeremy made fun of Professor for losing his job, which some of you don't think he lost his job. I don't know too many details about that, but you know, he, he didn't make that video asking for a dollar and, and he starts a video saying he lost his job. So, you know, isn't that irony at its best is you have somebody making fun of someone else for making fun of someone else for making fun of them losing their job. Like it's hatred is a cycle. And it doesn't really matter who started it. It just doesn't end. The problem is it, it doesn't end. Um, and 
if you and I will break down the Manalik's argument piece by piece because it's really important to understand. I would never wish my worst enemy, my worst I would never wish I got screwed over a lot in tech. Because that's what tech is. Uh, tech is a bunch of people who are screw I my two investors, I obviously bought them out because I didn't think they were helping me and they did not. My other managing partner, but I wouldn't wish ill on them. I, I what benefit does it have to me to wish ill upon someone, uh, and especially upon someone who I've never met? So that being said, get, going back to the uh, my personal experiences with being ally of so I live in the good state of Texas. Our last mayor was gay. She was a lesbian. Our current DA was gay, and I ran some of her campaigns. They are excellent people, and they deserve our current our our past mayor was a lesbian. Our current mayor is African American, so I live in the city of Houston, and our current DA is a lesbian. They are just wonderful people. I've met them. Uh, uh, Sylvester Turner, our current mayor, is a big anime fan. He uh, dressed up as uh, a Naruto uh, villain, <laughs> and I, I was, you know, I think it's great. Um, he's hilarious. So, don't judge people based on if they're cis or trans or white or Asian. Judge them based on who they are as characters. And I've always said this. The internet is a very terrible place to judge someone as a human being because if you watch a video on someone, they might seem to be happy and cheerful and just a really loving of their local game store, but then on the, on the back end, they buy all the product from Walmart and they're sponsored by a big card vendor. Like it's easy to fake something in a YouTube video because it's 10 minutes of your day. It's easy to read off a deck list that you didn't invent and you never even have the deck because you don't have a game you don't have a local game store to play the deck in. It's really easy to be fake online. And that's what I warn you about. Um, is a lot of people they are fake. And this is a in my personal opinion. I'm not a, I'm not gay, I'm not a lesbian, but many of my friends, I went to a school that was very, very supportive. And I remember uh, one of uh, freshman year, uh, my floor was a like sex counselor or something. like you can't make this stuff up, but it is NYU. And we did have a major called underwater basket weaving in the school of Gallatin. I'll talk about that a little later. Uh, and and, you know, we, we sat in these meetings and stuff in our dorm and we would learn stuff. It was just so fascinating that everyone in our floor, we had Thanksgiving gallery. Like, it didn't matter what you, uh, who you are, what you assign yourself as. We just were friends. And that's how it's always been. I don't care about, look, we can have difficult, we can have different political views. We can have. Uh, different feelings about the current mayor or the current system or taxes or business or you know global affairs international affairs china trade we can have different opinions about that and that's fine but at the end of the day i'm not going to judge you based on your race your sex or what you identify as because we're all human beings right so the concept of the the it's so shocking to me because I, what was the book that we read freshman year um, in the president? So I was part of some type of other organization and we had to read all these books. What I learned was it doesn't matter. Like good people are good people. Bad people are bad people. Bad people can be from anywhere. They can be any race, any gender, any um, identification. Good people can be that way too. So when you do find good people, keep them close to you. Because man, it is ferocious outside. I mean, these people that were, the tweets that I, I, 
I can't comprehend it. Um, I don't get it because it's not that it's it's not that I don't believe that there's discrimination out there because I myself have experienced it. It's just that you can't because you've been discriminated, you shouldn't discriminate against others. You don't want to perpetuate hatred just because someone hated you. Just because someone treated you poorly doesn't mean you want to treat other people poorly because that cycle will never end. Naruto. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Bye.